Greetings. Let's take a look at Shield Cell Banks in Horizons after latest dev tweaks. So, which Shield Cell Bank to pick? There are 5 ratings, 8 classes. Luckily for me, I did not have to do all hard work because I've seen a post on Frontier Forum made by Commander Pale Knight and Commander Judy Wei. Direct link to forum post you can find below this video. So, thank you very, very much. So, let's take a look at all shield cell banks in the game. You can already see in background, starting from class 1 and up to class 8, you can see rating, charge amount. It's how many charges each rating shield cell bank will have. Megajoules per 1 charge and total megajoules you can receive. So, if there are 4 charges, each one for 10 megajoules, total charge will be 40 megajoules. And I would say that most important is total amount of megajoules that you can have per shield cell bank, because that will tell you how many megajoules of shields we can restore. Of course, if you lose shields before you run out of shield cell banks, you're just a bad commander. Or you made mistake, one of two. Yeah, and I would actually advise you to have at least one heatsink now, unless you are not overheating your ship while using shield cell banks. And there are similarities for every single shield cell bank class. In example, rating E for each class holds same amount of charges as rating B. While rating D, shield cell banks have least amount of charges. Basically, that means that for every single shield cell bank class, rating D, shield cell banks will hold the least amount of total charge and rating B most. So, if you want to restore more megajoules of your last shields, rating B is the best. Now, let's take a look at all 8 classes and 5 rating shield cell banks in same table. This only shows you total amount of megajoules that you can restore. And even while rating B shield cell banks can restore highest amount of megajoules, the difference between A and B is not that big. You can see the numbers. 80 vs 69, 225 vs 212, and for class 8, 5670 vs 5515. So, in total charge, actually A and B are not that different. However, rating A, shield cell banks always have one charge less, so you can charge your shields faster. If you need speed, rating A is way to go. If you need total amount or you can use more than one shield cell bank at a time, rating B is the way to go. And rating E in general has two times less megajoules than rating B. So, complete waste of your internal compartment. So, it's quite easy now for you to calculate. Maybe you need one class lower shields, but use higher class compartment for shield cell bank. You never know. Sometimes it really can solve a lot of problems, or you can use 2, 3, 4 even shield cell banks at the same time. Just remember, if you are overheating, heat sinks is a must. Otherwise, you will be damaging your modules a lot, and you don't want malfunctions when you are fighting fly safe commanders.